In this video, we'll do an exam review on the circumventricular organs. So what are circumventricular organs? Certain parts of the brain are outside the blood-brain barrier. They are known as circumventricular organ and they are midline structures located around the third and a fourth ventricle. So these are the circumventricular organs. We'll discuss them now. They're the midline structures around third and a fourth ventricles. So these circumventricular organs have permeable fenestrated capillaries as opposed to the blood brain barrier capillaries which have tight junctions and they do not allow every substance to pass into the brain and especially proteins but these circumventricular organs they permit polypeptide hypothalamic hormones the hormones produced by the hypothalamus they leave the brain without disrupting the blood brain barrier so what are those circumventricular organs number one the posterior pituitary are neurohypophysis. It's a storage site of the hypothalamic hormones oxytocin and vasopressin and is connected to the hypothalamus through the hypothalamohypophysial nervous tract. Number two is the median eminence of the hypothalamus. This produces the releasing hormone of the anterior pituitary that acts on the anterior pituitary to control its hormones. Anterior pituitary is outside the blood brain barrier and it's derived from the oral ectoderm not from the neuro ectoderm the anterior pituitary is connected to the hypothalamus by hypothalamo hypophysial blood vessel portal blood vessels and the posterior pituitary is connected to the hypothalamus through hypothalamo hypophysial nervous tract number three is the organ vasculosum of the lamina terminalis ovlt and where is that lamina terminalis lamina terminalis is a thin sheet of gray matter and pyre matter between the pituitary gland or the optic chiasma of the optic nerve which crosses over here above the pituitary gland. This is the part from above the pituitary gland from the optic chiasma upwards to the rostrum of the corpus callus. And what's the function of OVLT? It increases the angiotensin and increases the water intake. How does it do that? It has osmoreceptors sensitive to the fluid and salt. Lamina terminalis and other structures, subonical organs have the osmoreceptors. So these structures, lamina terminalis and subphonical organs have osmoreceptors and sense the fluid balance signal. Number five is subcommissural organs below the subonical organs and number six is pineal gland. Pineal gland is the midline structure and what's the function of the pineal gland? Pineal gland secretes melatonin and it has circadian rhythm. Rhythm. And what circadian rhythm? It's the body's time clock. And number seven is the area posterima. Area posterima is here and it stimulates or initiates vomiting. It's a paired structure in the medulla and it has sensory neurons and initiates vomiting.